Hello viewers, Mike Money Gaming here, and I am here today with, well, Dark Cloud. And once again I'm in Queens. Why am I in Queens? Because it's another one- I'm just kidding, no, actually. I want to call myself an idiot in front of everybody again. Because I have here, which you can hear rustling in the mic, a piece of paper that has notes that I've taken about experience points that enemies give you. And these experience points are from the sunken ship. Eh, you know, you're probably thinking, okay, who cares? Thing is, I don't know what the hell happened, but I went to, like, floor 13 and 15 just to test something out, and also since I had the flapping fishes, I decided I would get some more equipment, which, um... I'll show you, I didn't really accomplish much. See, I, I already used up the ones I got. I got like a topaz and um, something else, but then I mostly got sellable crap, like vendor trash is what they call it. Uh, for some reason, I still have the sun in my inventory. I think it's because I took it out thinking I was going to use it for something. But um, let me just tell you something. So I went on to the 13th floor. And I ran into um, Max of Prodigy. Pro I don't know if I can know. But these Max guys, they drop 12 experience a pop. Every single time you kill one, you get 12 XP. Now, the one that gave the lowest that I was fighting was the Guyons. They give five regularly. However, if you go to the back rooms and find them there, which you can on floor 13 or 15, I believe, I'm not sure exactly, they give you eight. Yeah, that's not much either. But then, listen to this. The Anti-Medusa enemy, also known as the anti medu she gives you 10 on her own, but once she's buffed up, she gives you 20. Thus, if you could find a mask, um, mask guy in the back rooms, which I'm not sure which floor you would be able to do that on, you would get probably, I would say, 22, maybe 24. So, think about that for a second. We can't get to the other back rooms of, like, we can't find an item to get us to the back rooms of um, the gallery of time. But if we manage to... Most of the enemies there, let's see, okay. <clears throat> like we could find probably like 10 experience per dark flower if they were sip damaged it up. Uh, eight per evil bat. Curse dancers would give us 10. And Billy would give us 12, I believe. Thus, you know, that's like saying, that sounds like it's really great. Now let me show you what I managed to accomplish. I upgraded the sun sword twice. Uh, the Serpent Sword, I think I upgraded once. Um, why do I keep hitting Circle? Didn't do anything for her or him. Didn't accomplish anything for, uh, Lady Shuri either. Got the Scorpion up to level 1. I know what you're saying! I'm supposed to show it on screen. I'm sorry, I haven't done that just yet. I will later, though. Uh, probably actually very soon, because I might as well show you what it's capable of. As you can see, though, the magic on it is, like, 1. I don't think that contributes to how often the poison actually works, but another thing that kind of sucks is it only has two attributes. It only has wind and fire. Um, you know, the only thing I can say about this is that it would be fun to at least show it off for you, but it wasn't doing much damage to the enemies there, so that's one thing that kind of sucks about it. Of course, the Terror Sword in its 121 glory, and then the Mirage I got up, I think, one level. But I think I um, was using that also in uh, Sun, Sun and Moon Temple, which, by the way, in case you're wondering, uh, it was pretty much fours across the board of whatever enemy you kill on the first couple of floors. So, yeah, you only get like four experience, so you'd only get eight if you found the back room on those levels. Um, thus, I guess, in terms of grinding. The only thing I can recommend is, depending on where you go, just try to 
you know, get the back room whenever possible. So, anyway, there's that. Oh, one more. I think there's one more person, wasn't there? Did I get Os- uh, no, not Osmond, because that's his real name. Let's see, Sith's Blessing Gun... Yeah, I might have gotten it one level, I think. That was it. I don't remember. I'll, uh, change my mind in the editing, I guess, if, um, I didn't, but... Yeah, I still haven't done anything with the snail, even though I should be. If I decide to ever, you know, level it up, which I guess... Okay, let's see real quick. You know, I hate pulling this up. Yeah, I'd have to do this one to get something new. Attack and magic, all the attributes, and nothing there. Huh, that's interesting. I never noticed that before. Well, anyway, we got one thing on it at least for later. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and go back to. Um, Darkhaven Castle. And I was right, there is more to the area. Uh, you know how I was saying before that um, the uh, final run is those limited zones? No, they're not. I think I did figure that out eventually because I was looking at the um, what do you call them? A fragment? The f yeah, memory fragments. We have one more left. So, yeah. That's how I know that there's more floors than what it lets on. Or there might just be one more. I don't really know for sure after that. But we need to refill our... That should be enough. Okay, let's see. Seventeen, uh, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. There we go. Uh, I broke one Drance Feather during my exploring. But I just sold off all the crap I didn't need, so can't really show you that. I bought an extra mighty healing essence. We will need it. I uh, used a f couple of these, if I remember right, so we need to buy those back. And that should do it. Anything new to say, buddy? Okay, so yeah, we've seen that before, I believe. <sighs> okay, um, get rid of that. Make sure it says Garage Band, it does. Okay, so let's go back in here. Um, wait, which floor are we on? Because I might have messed my, I might have screwed myself a little bit here. Oh no, okay. Yeah, I can use, I can do this with him and the weapon I have him equipped with right now. And I guess I could use the snail a little bit if I really wanted to level it up. But I really don't care. So, okay, let's see. Um, I forgot to repair his weapon last time though, so I'm going to do that. Attribute, uh, we discovered Holy is the best for most of the enemies here has 24 experience points, so let's find an enemy and find out just how much we can score off of one of these enemies. Okay. What did I say? 24? So, 30, that's, um... That's about 6, right? Something like that? Not hell if I remember. Okay, so I have 36. Okay, how much do you give me? Oh. 36. Okay, so no, it didn't. Hold on. No? Okay, never mind. I don't really remember. Alright, well, I won't show you my. I guess I can't show you my way of doing things, so I'll keep forgetting. Okay, how much did he get? 
35. 36 to 42, that is... Um, where the hell is my phone? Hmm, I lost my phone. Yeah, I did. I didn't even put it in the wrong pocket like I usually do. Uh, for a sec, this is going to mess it up. Okay, so, um... What did I say? 36? So yeah, that's only, um... 6 experience points. So, not that much, but, you know, it's there. Just because he's fighting uh, these card enemies and they're not that powerful, or because I think most of the uh, enemies that actually block you are the ones that give you the most experience that I've discovered. But in this case, no, they're not really giving me much at all. Let's just use that just to make a shot. Now remember, you can't have, I don't think you can have two limited zones on a floor at a time. Like for example, you can't have only this person can be used and get thirsty faster. It doesn't do that. I don't think I ever explained that, did I? Huh, well anyway, I think that is the case. Let's see. Yeah, I cannot take turns with another ally, so yeah. It doesn't say anything else, so I don't know why my thirst seems to be going down so fast. At least the good thing with guns is that they don't, um, take more damage if the enemy blocks you, you know? That's right, enemy. I don't know, I mean, it seems to work pretty well against him. I know in one of my episodes I was making... I was actually making fun of myself while listening to myself talk because I was like, really? Because I'm sitting there uh, talking about how I guess my weapons are getting like weaker as I go along the floors. No, it's not that. It was actually because the weapon I was using just doesn't have much magic power and I never really thought about it. You know, it's like, this one only has 13. What does the other one have? 17. So yeah, I might do a little bit more damage. The problem is, though, um, I don't really see much, let's see, oh, I forgot to equip it, um, come on, I mean, it seems to do more, I don't know. Oh, and like I said before, uh, I think I did explain this in my uh, weapon build-up bonus episode, or whatever the hell I'm going to call it whenever I get to it. Um, the thing is with that one, I forgot to mention that, I'm pretty sure I mentioned that every single weapon gets the same amount of abs no matter um, what, so if an enemy drops, like, say, um, 10, uh, 10 abs when you kill it, it's going to give that to him no matter what weapon you use. It's just going to seem like less because, you know, your weapon doesn't have like a small, you know, level up bar. Okay, what do we got in this treasure chest here? The magic crystal, that's awesome. By the way, I tried a experiment whenever I was uh, going through the shipwreck. Um, no, you do not um, 
keep the floppy fish longer if you buy more than one ice cube. Uh, they just all melt at the same time and then you're kind of screwed. So, yeah. Just wanted to let you know about that because, um... You know, it's a good thing to know. I don't know, I still can't decide which one's better. I mean, I'm sure it's just like doing it in the 40s, and I think that was also doing it in the 40s the other way. Not to mention we have no idea what the uh, cards are actually weak against. I just heard a sound like something just stopped working, but no, it's just my imagination. Um, I think we might, we haven't found the key yet, so we're not doing that hot in that area. But we've gotten all the treasure chests, so that kind of sucks. Maybe we'll get lucky today and uh, manage to find a uh, uh, what's it called? The uh, feather duster thing. I doubt it though, unless I did a whole grinding episode, which would require me to go down to uh, like the beginning floor, which I'm not going to really do. So that was the last of the um, one things. So what we need to do now is we definitely need to restock everything that we have used up. Okay, yeah, I just wanted to see if you said anything else because of that. Uh, that would be nice, but no, we don't need that. Uh, we're going to need these uh, stamina drinks, so make sure to hold on to those. Don't need soap, get rid of that. Um, we have 69 items. <laughs> um, let's take a look just to see. 22, perfect. Uh, let's put, re equip this, repair it. Just in case, I'm gonna equip him, just in case that is the floor I think it is. Um, let's uh, check out those. Uh, Oh, the revival powder. Darn. I need a lot more than that. Stop. Okay, so now we have at least one, two, three, four, five, six. We're gonna have one equipped on our person at all times. Let's see. Um, mm, no, I was not about to hum the uh, music to. Um, by the way, so I was just kind of humming. Um, let's go ahead in here again. I think 
they did that transition into the next song pretty good. Yep, I was right. And so there should be no more, well, like, there isn't really much you can uh, depend on when it comes to limited zones because it's not going to really tell you. So you just kind of have to hope that there isn't one when you get on the floor. But it's usually like the ones that lead up to the boss that don't have any special things on them. You're not weak against um, ice. That's what I put it on, didn't I? Just randomly? Yeah, I did. That would have been funny as shit if I hit him with that. Oh my god, there's an Alexander here, I think. Yep. Man, look at that. The endurance of this weapon is so high, I can hit this, hit this guy multiple times and not even worry about it. Alright, so Black Dragon, you can fuck off. But of course you're not weak against fire. Wait, out of curiosity. Yeah, what did I put on it? I don't remember. I mean, I remember saying I was gonna... Oh, I know I was gonna put that on there. I was gonna, like, level it up more a little bit, if I remember right. Nothing that would do me much good. Oh, that was close. Uh, he definitely kills my weapon faster. If he would have blocked at all, I would have been resetting the game and I would have been, like, losing my mind. Okay, so 8 experience. Twenty-eight. So he gives a whopping twenty, so that's good to know. Holy shit! I forgot how much damage he takes, too. You know, despite what they say, I am not going to use, um... Um... Uh, Lady Shura against him, because he just blocks way too much, and so you have to put that character at risk, you know, just to get in a hit. So it's kind of like you swap hits back and forth, and that just does not sound like a good idea. You know? Book of Curses, that uh, must be the next thing. Uh, we haven't gotten the dark key yet, so let's head back over here and check this treasure chest. Jinx myself. I haven't seen a mimic in a while. <sighs> Though I must admit, for these like later floors here, I don't really see him that much. Oh yeah, I gotta heal him up real quick. I mean, I might run into a uh, fountain at some point, but you know, just to be absolute safe, I'm gonna go ahead and just do that right now for next time. Really, two gaps. Game, you're trolling me now. Especially since there's a spring over there. God, that's even worse. Okay, well. Actually, if I was to take on that guy with the uh, serpent sword, I'd probably have more luck because the serpent sword has a bunch of uh, thunder element on it that I could be using against him. Remember, you have to watch the enemy's animation. If his animation changes at all, it means he's about to do something that you don't want to have happen. Oh, how I wish enemies could hurt each other. You know, you could probably block that sword, but I'm not taking the chance. Did that say like 200? I think that might have said 200. Anyways, I'll repair this. Anything cool that I got to put on it? Um, which build up did I say I needed for this one? Uh, da -da 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 -da. 
That's right, the first one. No, I don't need any magic on it. I just need this stuff, which I don't have. Okay, well, anyway, I'm going to cut this episode here. I just had to stop myself from ending it because I would have tried to stop my recording of my commentary and been like, why is it not working? <laughs> anyway, in the next episode, we will continue taking on this place. Actually, I might clear this room of enemies and then continue. Till then, bye.